<laughs> so I'm here at work doing my shift. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Um, so I'm just doing my shift. Okay, well I can't show y'all too much, but um I came in an hour and a half early because the dude that's supposed to be um relieving me tonight is also the dude that's going to be training me tomorrow for the 11 o'clock to 8 o'clock shift so he just be working working his tail off um so i came in a little bit early to relieve him but shit, it is nobody here like i talked to the delivery girl um i gave her some cookies some popcorn and some water because <laughs> she was saying that she was like drunk or no she had a hangover from last night and hanging out because of the game and all that stuff you know what young people be doing <laughs> anyways but I got her number and she said she was looking, looking to hang out with new people instead of just her brother and all that stuff like that and I'm like brother I didn't say that but anyways um, so yeah I got a number well we exchanged numbers and yeah, I'm meeting people, you know, I'm trying to meet people, get out of my little comfort zone. But um, yeah, it's pretty empty. It's maybe four cars in the, in the lot. One of them is mine. Um, I think maybe two other ones are, um, staff too so <laughs> the other people that checked in they're all they went out so they'll come back I have one two three four five people checking in um so yeah and it was raining and so well, today is it's not gonna be too busy at all and he was telling me because the night audit position, you know, you really don't do much. You just kind of sit there um, unless, you know, I have like no shows and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, if he felt com comfortable, comfortable enough with leaving me at night, he can. I can call him if I get a note uh, if I need to know if I need to know how to do no shows or. You know something like that because i'm also going to try to stay like when i do my shift the next person that comes in is like the eight eight o'clock to three thirty shift if i can do if i can figure out that shift i can do that shift too because uh, i already be here and then most of that is like departures and stuff like that and that's like what taking keys uh, making a room dirty. I don't know how it goes, but it doesn't seem too. Hopefully, it doesn't seem too hard. Um, the only thing that's hard is just remembering the steps of how to get to where I need to get to. Like I had a new register, a new registration, um, and he always comes here, so he has a certain rate. So I had to go find duplicate this, 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 and the third. And I kind of got. I didn't. I couldn't remember the steps to do it, so I had to call uh, Miss Joy and ask her what did I have, what did I, what was I for, for what, what? And so she told me, and that was it. So, yeah. So now, hey, a juice crew. I made it to my hotel. Um, so I need y'all to keep me up. <laughs> Cause I gotta stay up to at least. Oh, okay. So I gotta stay up to at least five, three, something like that. <laughs> and or if I go to sleep, I'm gonna get up really early, early, because I kind of want to go to Sam's to get some, you know, some food or something like that. Um, what I was trying to say, some food or something because yeah starting that new shift 
And um, Mike is sick. He bought himself some NyQuil and Mucinex and all this other stuff. Cause they got this man, they is working this man to death. <laughs> he did a double today. Did he do a double? Yeah, cause he was at one hotel and then came to the, to the next hotel. And then I relieved him. I went in early. I went in an hour and a half early. I could have went earlier, but you know, anyways, I had smoked and you know, I don't want to be too high at work. But, um, so I got there. It was pretty, it was pretty easy. It was pretty chill. Um, it started out Sunday was only supposed to be four people coming in and then it turned to five. And then by the end of the night, it was 12 people that came in. Yeah. So, I, I was checking, I was checking in people. <laughs> I needed some help in the beginning. Because I was just like, you know, new, green, or whatever. And, yeah, by the end of the day, I'm, I'm good. You know, I, can, I think I can do a double chip if I wanted to. And why is this battery dying on? But yeah, I just want to say that I'm pro I'm going to come back to y'all later because I need to be up, and so I'm gonna be editing, and I'm gonna need some people to talk to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How could you not know this music? Okay, oh, what is up, just crew? It is like twelve in the afternoon. I needed to go to Sam's, like I told y'all. I went to see round three. I tried to get as much edit, tried to edit as much as I could before, you know, going to sleep. And I went to Sam's. Oh, I got every wrong light on. <laughs> I don't know if that made it better. This light is sucker D. <sighs> Anyways, I went to Sam's and got me some more water. I got this, these things here. They're individually wrapped. So, something to take on a night shift got something a little bit more hardier um, to like stay up I guess and then I got or you know just for when I get off um, I could just come back to whatever place I'm at because this hotel I, I leave here Friday um, yeah I don't know where I'm gonna be after that but anyways I got these this Stouffer chicken bacon ranch bowl. Mmm. So, you know, take that one day or so. Or eat it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I already had these. These, remember from the last, the last, last time. So I still had a whole box of this. I haven't even been eating them. So I have those in the car, but I just got a brunch them in. And then I got these. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Cause I need to sleep some more so that I'll be able to stay up at night. So I'm gonna go to sleep around I don't know, but I'm not gonna get up until nine. It's 1.07 now. So, I'm gonna go to sleep whenever. But then I'm not gonna get up, like I said, until like nine. Cause my shift doesn't start until 11. So, yeah, anyways, but here is the pizza. I get 
like one order, but one order is like two slices a piece if they were to cut it, right? And that was for, you know, a dollar and some change. And then the yogurt, the chocolate yogurt, you know, that's a dollar. And it is some good yogurt. It melted, but it's some good yogurt. But anyways, y'all, let me go. I'll talk to y'all probably at work because I ain't gonna have nothing to do. I mean, Mike, I'm gonna just tell him to go to sleep. You just go to sleep. And if I need you, I'll, I'll call you. But <laughs> if it ain't doing nothing, then I don't need to call you shit. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all later tonight. <laughs> hey, oh, what is up to this crew? <laughs> So I'm at work now. Um, Mike left me around maybe like 10 minutes ago. Um, editing. Hey, but it's up to this crew. It's Tuesday. Morning. More morning. It's 9.45. I got off at 8 something. And... I had to go to Dollar Tree and I had to go to AutoZone because the light in my car, my headlight is gone. Like it went out, right? So I had to go to Auto, AutoZone, AutoZone to get me another light bulb. 21 god dang it dollars. $21.99 for one bub. Bub. I was like, come on now. And then I also got um, this knife. This pretty purple knife or whatever color it is. It looked purple to me. So I got it. And then this was the bub. Shit. Still upside down. This was the bulb I got. That didn't take but this many seconds. This many seconds to change. Yeah. I Googled, not Google, I YouTubed how to change the bulb before, prior to me getting it. And they told me I had to unscrew something that looked like this well this about round or whatever and then I was going to have to pop the light do all of this man that light was right there like <laughs> all I had to do was just turn the little pull it out unplug it plug it back in with the new one and just stick it back in there I didn't have to do no extra shit or anything like that so I did that in the parking lot in the auto zone parking lot because first I was just going to see how bad it was or how far or you know how where the whole light thing was because how the man said it it's supposed to be in on oh, this some shit um so i wanted to see if i wanted to do it today or whatever if not i'm just gonna do it tomorrow i don't know but when i seen it i was like this it can't be this easy it, it can't be this easy no so i just did it then then I went to, well, I went to Dollar Tree first and just got like some clean and stuff. I got um, a towel so I can wash them, like my little dishes, my little, <laughs> my little cup. And I got um, one of those bottle brushes too. So I can clean my little this thing here is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, y'all didn't see this. I bought this. Have y'all seen this? I don't know if I did a haul, but I bought this. Hmm. I bought this. Hmm. At Walmart. Yes, Walmart. Eleven eighty-eight. I bought it. You know 
pretty much the second day I got hired because my uh, co-worker, she had something similar to this. Like she had this little screw top thing. And I was like, ooh, that does look pretty cool. So I bought it. <laughs> I was being a copycatter. And I told her that too. I said, I was copying off, off of you. Um, And yeah, what I'm about to say. I don't think I was about to say anything, but. You know, because I don't want my car getting all hot. Back here is in a nice little. Look at that. Both my little lights on. Um. Yay! I'm about to open up my knife with my knife. I've been looking for another a little or one. Yeah, it's little or than this. How cute! Come on, my good little baby. Mm. Where's the little cover it too? I don't think I can keep this though, because I think it was only for the for the protection of like the plastic or whatever. Is that how they go? I think it was. What is this? Instructions? Warning. Sharp edge or point. Thank you. That's what I want it to be sharp. Look how freaking cute. Okay, let me put you a boo boo. You know you my favorite. <laughs> I like me some knives, y'all. I'm not I'm not a gun girl. I'm a knife, an up close and personal type of person. This is a Smith. Oh, this is Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops knife. Look how cute. Turn it this way. I don't know if this is purple or what. I'm hoping it's purple. I don't give a shit if it wasn't purple. I just thought it was cute and black. If it's in my hand really well. I like to hold my knife like this. Because <laughs> it feels like I can get the most control with it. Trying to hold it like this, it just feels weird. <laughs> I hold it like this. Is that how you're supposed to hold it? Because it feels like my hand fits really good in this, in these little holes than it do with this little one. Now, I'm on. This feels way more better. Way more better. Like I can move my arms freely. <laughs> that other one, you couldn't really, you know, you can't like this mm -hmm. anyways my new baby and I can hide her in my bras very easily let me turn my car off because the only thing I'm about to do is smoke yeah she's even more you know she's smaller than the other Excuse me, I don't want to fix my boobies. They were just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. You can't even see it. Well, you know where it's at right here. Oh, well, I didn't know where it's at. I'm over here talking about downhill. So, I mean, you can't really 
tail is there. But this one here, I had this one on last night. Sir, where did you go? You can see him. Yeah. <laughs> I was hitting them all on stuff. But, oh my goodness, my cute little baby. He's pretty. You better be good, Smith & Wesson. Your gun's supposed to be good. Let your knife be good, too. Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson. Man. I'm like, who fucking fingerprints all on here? Sorry y'all, I'm hype. I think I I think I need to go to bed. <sighs> Tell you the truth. But I do need to upload this video too, so I'm gonna go in there in a minute. Oh, and I also went to Dick's when I would when I go to Dick's. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Because I was working by myself. Y'all know I was working the desk by myself Sunday. I was pretty much working the desk by myself last night too. Damn. I bought this little mace. Mace in your face. Let me show you. This brand or whatever. This. It just says mace. So I bought me that. I don't, I'm. I hate that I'm showing my my weapons. <laughs> so there's people in it. So if people encounter me, they're going to know where my weapons are and what they look like. Hmm. Maybe I should stop showing around my shit. Well, y'all don't know everything. Y'all just seen the two new things I got. And when the one old thing I got. But don't think you it's only don't think it's only them. You know you have to have stashes because you don't know what you don't you don't know you know what I'm saying. Knock on wood, that shit don't happen. But you don't know if when a person you know tries to get you or whatever, they throw you in your trunk or you don't know your back seat or something like that. You have to have weapons in every area of your vehicle, as well as in every 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 <laughs> every area in your house. You always have to have something. If you never know what might happen. You never, you never know. Pray to God nothing does happen. But you know, you don't know what people, you know, be going through in their life. And, you know, you that opportunity that they've been waiting for. And, um, man. <laughs> Listen. It's going to be, I will be a bad opportunity for you. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm not saying that because I think I'm big big and bold and bad and all that shit like that. I have the will to live. I want to live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to be here even though this world, this this shit here is bullshit. Um, I still want to live in this shit. So I'm going to do whatever. Just like you, you, you're you going to do or whoever's going to do whatever it takes to get rid of me, I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to stay here and get rid of you. That's it. Like I said, I, I'm not saying it to like brag or anything, but that's how strong my willpower is to live. By any means necessary. 
So, <laughs> I wouldn't want to try me. That's all I'm saying. And I'm saying again, not to brag about nothing or anything like that, but I wouldn't. Anyways, somebody is staring at me while I'm uh, recording. Not that I care. You know, y'all know me. I don't really care. Um, I just like saying shit. Good morning, Juice Crew. How are y'all doing on this Thursday, right? Thursday morning. It is 8.37. Just getting back uh, from work. Or just getting from whatever. And... Y'all, I have a three-day weekend. I have a three-day weekend. I am on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What was this called? A cabbage patch? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> so, I'm off this weekend. And I was thinking about going to the St. Augustine why you ask because they got a bucky's out there and i'm trying to i'm trying to have some more of that uh those chocolate covered cashews they were good y'all i threw all that fudge away i only ate i didn't even eat half of none of the fudges like I only took pieces of it like that to me I love chocolate chocolate is not sweet to me not like um pie like um pecan pie that is so sweet to me I can't even eat that that's how that fudge was it was so sweet and I was like mm -mm. so that was kind of a waste I always, my eyes, they just, you know, I want it. I could have just got like two of them, but I actually want to try all of them. What if I asked if I can get half of them? Maybe they've never done that. Maybe I'd be the first one to suggest that. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to go to St. Augustine because I want to see about that Bucky's, right? And then... um that outlet out there i'm gonna see if i can find some more black pants see if lane brian or torrid may have something just to see i mean um mm, i was about to say i'm content with my shorts i mean my pants but the pants that i like the most they're too long like the two pair of pants that i like the most are so long and so big well the length the um torrent pants i think it'll be too much to be trying to get that tailored like because they're they're gonna take it take it in like take it in in the waist part in the hip part in the legs like they will have to do so much work just to have those pants fit me the way i would want them to fit and that's, that's like too much work i might as well you know sell it posh marty i need to get my posh mart up and listen y'all i have so much going on I got so much stuff I have to do. And then after I do the stuff that I have to do, because I need to get situated, then I have other stuff that I want to do. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot just going on in my head, y'all. But, um, let me write that down since I thought about it. I mean, I already thought about it. But, you know, 
smokers brain sometimes man i'll be forgetting what i just said okay um see i already forgot what the fuck i was talking about writing down what i need to do or i'm going to forget but what was i talking about before that you're going to say all this thing okay yeah, and like altering my pants and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go see. I'm probably not gonna get anything, but it's worth a try to see. The Kato pants, I like them, but the both, I feel like I'm hunching. The both, both of the pants I got are like ankle pants. And <laughs> it's like, Two pair of pants are short, oh no, two pair of pants are long, really long, and then two pair are short. Then I got jeans I can wear <laughs> on one game days, on game, home game, something. But I don't know how many more home games we got. Football is almost over pretty much, right? Or does college football go longer than the uh, NFL? Anyway, y'all, what am I, what am I about to do? Um, nothing. Tell y'all about these pants that I want to go get. So, yeah. If not, then I have to order. I've been dreading ordering stuff because I want to get some new glasses. I want to get my hair done. I want to get my nails done. I want to get my toes done. I want to, yeah, get glasses. I want to get. Uh, Not so much shit, but you know, I want to get some new glasses though. I'm just cheap. Y'all know I'm cheap. I'm trying to get the cheapest price. Because I think, well, no, I got these for free. So <laughs> I did a, I did a review on my other channel. If y'all don't know about that, I haven't posted on there in such a long time. Well, no, I did a Kato haul, but anyways. Um, what I'm saying? I did a review for these glasses, so I got these done for free. Um, and I went and did, did my discount code, and it took twenty dollars off. So that's good. Twenty dollars off your order is Juicy Thirty. If y'all want to know, I forgot the company name, <laughs> but I gave y'all the discount code. Um, be here somewhere. And yeah, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get a pair from them and then get two other pairs from Zulu. No, Z E E L O O L. Or is it Z E E L O O L? <laughs> I don't know why I thought I spelled it wrong the first time. Let me make sure. <laughs> Yeah, Z E E L O O L. I got two waiting. I actually want three of them, but the other pair is just like the other pair. They're both clear. I don't need two clear glasses. I need one. Oh, look how cute these purple ones are. I don't know. Let me see. Look how cute those purple ones are. <gasps> and then you can't really see these. Oh Lord, it just went blurry. Hold on. Let me see if I can show somebody's face. I don't know if it's the same person, but this is how you look on, on the face. And I thought they looked so cute. So I got them in crystal.
So why not just make this seventy-seven dollars when the glasses itself is seven? <laughs> oh, cause I put the uh, from dark to light, from light to dark. I thought these were transition glasses, I mean lenses, but they're not. 